Warning, the following video contains criticism of George Lucas. If you're a prequel fanboy and grew up with the prequels, you might not like the rest of this video. You've been warned. All right, let's get into the actual video. So, George Lucas came out on this interview with uh, James Cameron in his series, James Cameron Story of Science and Fiction. It's on AMC. It's actually pretty good. Uh, George Lucas was in it, and he wrote in this book, uh, the companion book to the show. He says, um, this is the quote of George Lucas, The next three Star Wars films are going to be about a microbiotic world, but there's this world of creatures that operate differently than we do. I call them the Wills, W-H-I-L-L-S. And the Wills are the ones who actually control the Force, or control the universe. They feed off the Force. If I had held on to the company, I would have done it, and then it would have been done. Of course, a lot of the fans would have hated it, just like they did with the Phantom Menace and everything, but at least the whole story from beginning to end would be told. So, let's break this down. Basically what he's saying is, you know, i got to ignore the second quote because that's irrelevant. But basically he's saying is that in episodes 7 through 9, in George Lucas's version, it would have been about a microbiotic world, about a, these creatures called the Wills, who are very different than the world, you know, the original Star Wars world we live in, which uh, it sounds like microbiotic, what does that mean, like smaller, I guess? Like, honey, I shrunk the kids? And so they control the universe and they feed off the Force. Here's what I like and don't like about it. I like the last quote. I like I like from the Wills on, where he says, I call them the Wills, and they're the Wills that are, uh, they control the universe and they feed off the Force. I like that. That's interesting. What I don't like is that it's a microbiotic world. Another thing I wouldn't like about this trilogy is that it's a bunch of teenagers. If you remember, uh, previous to this one, George Lucas said that he would have brought in some teenagers for, you know, the lead characters. Jake Lloyd, you know, got nice guy and everything. It was a problem bringing a kid on. You know, kids don't do well in Hollywood for very good reason. You know, if they're a good actor, great, but most people don't want to go to a movie and say, they, we didn't go into The Phantom Menace saying, hey, Jake Lloyd's in this, I can't wait to see him. We went in saying, oh, Ewan McGregor's in this, and Liam Neeson's in this, I'm kind of excited to see this. That's how we went in, so it's different now. Um, and I don't know why you'd bring teenagers into this, and then you bring it into a microbiotic world. It just sounds very confusing and weird. George Lucas is a very creative guy, he's a very smart guy when it comes to creating good ideas. Like this one, this is a good idea. Um, part of it is. I like the Wills part. Like I said, I don't like the fact that it's a microbiotic world. And so he would need someone else to challenge him on this and say, hey, George, why don't we change it up a little bit? Because that's what happened with the original trilogy, and look what happened. Star Wars. So, this is kind of interesting news. Uh, now you got to ask yourself, which would you rather have? Would you rather have Episode 7 where it's unoriginal, and it's just new, and it's not really that creative because it copies A New Hope? Or would you rather have something that's very original and also new, and it, you know, it's creatively different compared to what we have in Star Wars. So it's kind of interesting. And I know George Lucas apparently already knows that the fans would have hated it. And he's like, oh, just like they did with the Phantom Menace and everything. It's not like we didn't like the Phantom Menace because it's, you know, a good movie. It's just not a good movie. It's got a bad plot, bad story. The action is cool, yeah, and so is the music. But that doesn't mean anything when you don't have characters you care about in a story that makes any sense. So... Yeah, no, I, I like George Lucas as a guy. Like I said, he's very good creatively. I wouldn't have had him direct this or write this. Well, I'd probably have him co-write, actually. Yeah, I would definitely have him write, like, co-write it with someone else. Like Lawrence Kasdan, but, you know, whatever. So, um, this is interesting news. Uh, I, I don't know. Um, I wouldn't want this to happen, honestly. Uh, let me put it like this. If I could go to parallel dimensions and worlds and everything, I would definitely go watch these movies and see how they came out, and then I'd come back and tell you if they're good or not. But um, overall, I'm okay with this not happening, because what this sounds like is something like an extreme The Last Jedi, where it's not like The Last Jedi, you know, is bad. Well, I mean, it is bad. It changes everything about Star Wars, at least our characters. But this would change everything we know about the Star Wars universe. It's not really just the Empire versus the Rebels, which is generic and old now. This is something completely different. It's a microbiotic world. And that really changes the tone of everything. And it just, it's kind of weird that, you know, George Lucas, after making The Phantom Menace, would go, a lot of people don't like the midichlorians, so why don't we make a whole trilogy about, you know, a microbiotic world like the midichlorians? Because, you know, fuck it, why not? How bad could it be? <laughs> so, um, I don't know. This is interesting. Uh, I'm kind of glad it's not happening, but I'm very intrigued by the idea. And I really, I think, if anything, he should write a book. He should write his own little book about what would actually happen in these movies, in this trilogy. A, he'd make a lot of money. I definitely would pay for it. And B, like I said, it would be interesting to see what could have been. So, ask yourself this. I mean, ask yourself, would you like to have a movie about a microbiotic world and the wills that control the universe? And that part is pretty cool, that they control the universe and they feed out the force. It kind of reminds me of, like, you know... Uh, the ones, uh, you know, the son, the daughter, and the uh, father, and then the mother, Abeloth, and everything, were like the super beings of the Force, and they're really connected and everything. There's that big mystical aspect of it. I like mystical things like that. You know, uh, 
uh, I can't think of other series to really go off of. Like, even uh, the stupid zombie stories in Black Ops or whatever in the Call of Duty stuff where it's like, oh, there's this other world, like the ether or something like that. It's like, ooh, that's kind of mystical and cool. That's what I think about this is it's different, it's unique, it's creative, but then it's like it's a microbiotic world, and then it's like, oh, well, you've got to forget. Well, you can't forget that this is Star Wars, and this would be very different and weird for us. But... I don't know. Comment your thoughts below. Would you guys like this trilogy? Would you see it over the current trilogy we have going on right now? Comment your thoughts below. What do you guys think? Is George Lucas a genius for this, or is he an idiot? I don't know. Pick your poison.